Welcome back to another episode of Bolka 1G, my double XP locked account. Last episode, we made some pretty good progress after unlocking a lot of early level quests. Now, we're just gonna dive right in and start grinding out skills, so let's get into it. It is time to dive in and finish the construction requirements for the quest cape. We need to get level 81 construction, and we are just going to rush this right now. Uh, 55 now, and uh, we're, yeah, we're just doing mahogany tables until we get to level 73, at which point we will unlock the flatsome uh, pawnbrokers, and the XP should start flying after that. There is level 60 construction. Alrighty, this will be level 73 construction. We can now build another room in order to do our flat, whatever they're called, flat brawn pun something. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we'll make an aquarium here and build it and let's get started and we'll just grind right on through uh, level 81. That was a very unexpected agility level being 68 agility, but most importantly, this uh, next one here should be level 81 construction. Almost. Here we go. 81 construction coming in, and we are completely done on this double XP for construction, as we no longer need any more levels. We're going to take another pause here from our double XP timer with just over 17 hours left, uh, and we are going to knock out a few quests in order to unlock Minifos. I really hate having to quest during double XP, but uh, we need to get these areas unlocked, so let's get in and do it. And that is Restless Ghost Quest Complete. This is the first quest I ever did back on uh, Classic in like early 2001, so it's, uh, it's amazing how different it is. But uh, on to Gertrude's Cat now. That is Gertrude's Cat completed, and we can now start the uh, main line of quests for uh, Menaphos. That is Stolen Hearts Completed. Diamond in the Rough is now in the record books. Let's go. That is yet another quest completed. Uh, this quest isn't obvi it's obviously not part of the Menifos line, but smoking kills is a necessity for any account uh, to unlock a lot of slay rewards that come with the points. So we're going to knock out smoking kills real quick uh, because we do want to get started on the slayer grind at some point soon. I am an absolute unit with this magic gear and that is level 50 defense here. Got it during the quest. Uh, should be done here pretty soon. Used up some of the keys we got from uh, questing and that is level 30 mining now. Uh, pretty good start. The double XP timer is once again running. We're going to go check the trees that we planted yesterday and uh, grab some farming levels and then we're going to start the Slayer grind. And that's level uh, 52 farming, not bad. Should get one more farming level from this and nice, yeah, level 53 and we planted all the trees and we will do it again tomorrow. Uh, what can I say about Slayer? It's absolutely my favorite skill in the game. I love doing Slayer assignments. It's just, I don't know what it is. I just, it always gets me and I'm having an absolute blast on this Slayer grind. Unfortunately, my only real combat skill for now is magic. So I'm having to mage everything even when it uh, might not be advantageous in some situations. But ideally we get some cannon tasks and we get our range up that way. And then we can uh, use both magic and ranged in the long run. Hopefully we don't get any tasks we have to use melee. All right, we got our first task that we can actually use the Dwarf Cannon on. Uh, hopefully get maybe five, six uh, range levels from this task, and we'll just keep progressing that way. Unfortunately, having to use magic here at the uh, Demon's not ideal, but uh, we got 75 magic, so we will switch to our Staff of Light as soon as our Aram Staff gets to level 10 for the Invention XP. And uh, this should be level 50 Slayer here coming in just in any moment. So uh, yeah, making a lot of progress, having a blast. Oh dang, we just got Morty, the Constitution pet, at uh, a ridiculously low amount of XP. Look at that. Oh yeah, everyone's favorite little uh, little axolotl pet. That's uh, it's pretty sweet. That is level 60 defense and the task completed. 
I gotta confess, I really don't know how dragon fire works in this game. I don't have any dragon protection at all. I don't have the potion, I don't have the shield. Uh, but I'm at red dragons for the slayer task, just using my cannon, and it seems to be going alright, so we're just gonna go with it for now. I thought for sure I'd get insta-killed, but uh, I took the gamble, and hey, it paid off. It is time for another full tree run, uh, fruit trees and wood trees. Hopefully we can bang out a couple levels. Level 58 farming after the run, not too shabby at all, and we're going to use our garden pies now to boost over 60 farming and plant uh, yew trees for our next run. For anyone who didn't know, you can scale your Silverhawk boots up to uh, your defense level, uh, so we are going to upgrade ours to level 60. Back to Slayer tasks, and thankfully we got another task that we can use our cannon at, and we will be getting level 40 ranged very, very soon. Our cannon is an absolute unit. We are now level 46 range, and uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, the goal is to, obviously to be able to start using uh, chinchampas uh, for faster training. And also we got our Aram staff to level 10, so we can uh, now disassemble that for a really good chunk of invention XP. Time to grab another task, uh, but first we're going to disassemble our Aram staff, which is level 10. Should get a fat chunk of XP here. And 12 levels, wow, that is awesome. I don't know why it says level 5 and 10 and 20, that's weird, but here we go. Level 57 Slayer, very nice. We've now completed 10 tasks, and uh, we did a little bit of ED3 as well, getting our magic level up initially. This is what the charm stack is looking like, and uh, we just want to build this up as much as possible and get to level 75 before DXP ends. Gotta say, I'm getting absolutely thwopped by these greater demons. Uh, just using the cannon because I want the range XP, obviously, but uh, they're hitting pretty hard, and I can't even get the vampirism aura because I don't want to spend the time to do bosses. I'd rather use my time wisely. But that's a level 50 range coming in. Very nice. Level seven, uh, 70. I'm getting ahead of myself. Level 60 Slayer now. It's uh, just, I don't know. Going by really fast, I really love this skill. There's level 66 defense, and we are getting really close to unlocking augmentable armor, which is going to make our invention XP go up really, really fast. Another quick pit stop into the Citadel. We're going to use the rest of our combat dummies to get our attack level to over 50. The goal is to do more trash runs in ED3 and get our ranged and attack levels up to make the Slayer task go just a little bit easier and we'll be able to use all styles of combat. So we're going to rush to this and get, uh, we'll just use all our combat dummies on attack and we will get right into it. Before we go all gung-ho with Chinchampas and melee training, we're going to get our defense level to 70 using magic. The reason for this is so we can use some power armor uh, for ranged and melee, uh, which is going to make training a lot easier to do, as uh, we'll use armadil and uh, any melee equivalents as well in order to uh, get a little bit more of a hit chance on those early levels. Back in the Invention Guild, we got to level 43 uh, based on just dis disassembling stuff and doing some new research, so that was pretty cool. Uh, able to unlock plate armor and leg armor now as well, and we'll throw some augmenters on Bandos and Armadil gear. And uh, we picked up a Charming M too, so that's going to help alleviate some time uh, picking up charms. I ultimately decided to leave my double XP timer paused for the rest of my combat training. As much as I would love to see the levels fly by that much faster, it just wasn't really necessary. Combat is really easy to level up, and I'm going to level it up regardless through Slayer. I really need charms though. That's the reason I'm doing all this combat training, especially off of uh, the double XP timer, which is now at 12 and a half hours left remaining. The mo more charms I can get, it's going to be better off. I need to get level 75 summoning, before the end of this double XP, in order to unlock Plague's End, which is going to give me access to Priftinus. So, I just trained, and trained, and trained, and the range levels, defense levels, constitution levels just kept piling up 
that mixed with the XP capacitor, uh, sacrifice of Scrimshaw, my augmentable gear was leveling up ridiculously fast, and it was just really, really fun and really, really chill. I enjoyed myself a lot. There is level 70 range now, and we can unlock the Corruption Shot from our Mascab Ability Codex. Uh, so that will help a lot with AoE damage and getting more XP per hour. Very nice, we just hit level 10 on our first set of Armadillo Chestplate and Chest Skirt, uh, so we will augment those as soon as we're out of combat, and uh, use our new ones, level 47 and level 50. Oh, yo, we got the... We got Malcolm, the invention pet. That's awesome. I have a council with 200 mil invention that I don't have this pet. That would just, uh, wow. Hey, that is level 70 agility. All right, there is level 75 range and level 51 dungeoning as a nice little bonus. It is time to look at our charm collection and start summoning. It is time to start double XP again, and we are going to dive right in and just start summoning and see where this amount of charms gets us, and that'll dictate uh, how much Slayer we have to do more in the future uh, for charm collection before this double XP ends. This will be the last batch of Crimson Charms and to uh, whatever we're making. I've lost track of everything. I'm so tired by this point. But this should be level 62 summoning. Not a bad start. We need 13 levels left. So it is time to hop back on the Slayer grind and we will make some more progress there. That is going to do it for episode number 10 of the series. I really appreciate you guys tuning in to watch. We made some really, really good progress in this episode as we are now down to almost 10 hours left of double XP. I'm really trying to get these videos out as fast as I can. It is currently August 3rd, which means we have nine days left until the next double XP begins. And I would like to finish uh, all the footage I have before that times. If you're enjoying the series, please leave a like comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. I read all your feedback and I appreciate all of it. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next episode.